Greetings everyone, Dalton here. I'm a lot like Dr. Jekyll, but instead of drinking a potion and turning into Mr. Hyde, I drink a cup of coffee and turn into Mr. Has to go poop. <laughs> I have to poop. In this video, I'm going to cover different types of portable van life toilets, why I chose mine, and my bowel habits. Generally, I try to handle my business outside the van. Take advantage of any stores, friends, and bushes near you. Sometimes, however, emergencies happen. If you're living in a van, you're likely one of three people. Person one is some hippie kid who primarily eats meat impersonators and prunes. Person two is that individual who finally retired at 123 years old. They're finally living out their dream of traveling the world in a little van and they're on the cusp of incontinence. Person three is the kind of psycho who enjoys simultaneously pooping and cooking their friend's breakfast. You more than likely fall into one of these three categories of van dwellers. This is why a van toilet is a must-have. Let's discuss some common things that might make you poop. We already mentioned coffee. Coming in at second is eating. As you inhale lentils and mushroom burgers like Kirby, pressure builds internally, and that pressure has to go somewhere. So it starts forcing whatever you're brewing out. Sleeping. Sleeping also makes you have to poop. You drift off to a nice slumber and the poop fairy pays you a smelly visit. But instead of leaving a dollar under your pillow, he makes you have to take a dump in the middle of the night. Lastly, going poop actually makes you have to poop more. You just cleared room, you're sitting on your favorite seat, the barrels are hot, and your body is primed to pinch a loaf, as the kids say. But enough about your disgusting tendencies, let's get our hands dirty and dive into the different types of van toilets. When it comes to choosing van toilets, you have a few options. There are composting toilets, cassette toilets, separation toilets, and of course, the great outdoors. There are pros and cons to each, so let's start with composting toilet. Composting toilets take your poop and turn it into usable compost. This is an excellent option for the bougie van lifer. They're generally the most expensive and largest, which brings us to our first pro. They can store a bunch of shit, literally. Some of these toilets can handle six weeks of launching brown spacecrafts into orbit before needing to be emptied. Another for the pro side, they separate urine into a different container so it's ready for easy disposal or drinking if you're Bear grills. On the con side, you typically have to churn these like a dairy farmer churning butter. But instead of churning butter, you're churning two and a half weeks worth of Mexican food and beer poops. According to the law of conservation of poop, poop can neither be created nor destroyed. It can just change form. With your composting toilet, you can now throw this in your mom's garden and feed the whole family at Christmas. This is going to make it a pro. Although on the con side, your family now has to eat food that was literally grown with your excrement. But actually, if you don't like your family too much, this could still be a pro. This will bring us into the cassette toilet. These toilets send all the ones and twos to the same place, just like me at the club. When you mix pee bacteria with poop bacteria, it creates a certain unholy elixir. Some of these toilets just embrace that. And when it comes time to empty them, it will smell like you're hanging out with the Crypt Keeper. Some of these toilets are made to work with that special blue liquid that you see in porta potties. This looks kind of like the stuff that Wolverine injects to get superpowers. But unlike Wolverine, if you inject this, all you get is poisoned. On the pro side, these toilets are generally small. Therefore, you can hide the toilet when company comes over so your pooping habits don't have to be the topic of discussion once again. On the con side, these toilets are smaller, so you have to empty them a lot more often. This creates more encounters with your disgusting waste kind of make them cancel each other. Moving on, the great outdoors. This is a nice option for people who either camp in the middle of nature or in the middle of San Francisco. There's minimal cleanup. You dig a hole, squat down, and forget your troubles. On the con side, you do have to squat. So if you're older or have bad knees, that could be a problem. Moving back to the pro side, you get to dig a hole and you might find buried treasure. That treasure chest, I don't, I don't know. I'm not an artist. Cons. While on the hunt for buried treasure, you may find someone else's buried turd. Another con. You're very likely to be attacked by a bear when it smells you pooping in its territory. On the pro side, if you're pooping on a San Francisco sidewalk, you don't have to worry about police hassling you. You might, however, be vulnerable to a different type of bear attack. The separation toilet. 
This is what I got and you'll see why shortly. It combines the best of both worlds. It's a reasonable size so I can hide it anywhere, but it has large-ish reserves for someone who poops or pees a lot like me. I pee so much I could make a camel jealous. Starting with the pros, it requires no installation. Just drop it in your van and it's ready to go. For our first con, it requires no installation. This means if I make too sharp of a turn, I might have an unpleasant reunion with Mr. Hanky. Moving back to the pro side, when I poop, I don't have to churn it like you do with a composting toilet. You just have to add some sort of medium to absorb the moisture from your poop. All I do is take some hamster bedding and sprinkle it on there like I'm Salt Bay, preparing his pet hamster for the smelliest snap of its life. Back to the con side, I really have to count on that hamster bedding to suck every bit of moisture out of my poop. If I don't use enough of this medium and it doesn't suck the moisture out of the poop, it's gonna smell like my hamster kicked the bucket, the bucket of poop all over my van. Back to the pro side, my pee does go into a separate reservoir and so it's easy to just pull out and empty when the time comes. On the con side, I can't really monitor how full that reservoir is, so I might overflow it and fill my van with gallons of pee. Another pro is that this style of toilet typically comes with compostable bags. These bags have a cool built-in feature where they start dissolving if you wait too long to empty them. It's like a game. Think hot potato, but with your poop. Hot poop potato? Hot poop potato. Actually, now that I think about it, the, this one might be a con. So let me bring you in for a close up on how this toilet works. I got the biggest toilet that I could from a company known as Trellino. This company specializes in separation toilet. Okay, so underneath the lid here, you'll see two distinctive areas. We have one area for your wiener. Actually, that's a, that's a little big. Uh, maybe a little more. There we go, that's more realistic. And we have another section for your poop. Actually, I'd... I really, I really don't want to waste that. Perfect. The poop goes into a 2.6 gallon bucket with an actively dissolving compostable bag for your pleasure. Note, if you're an infrequent pooper, you can use non-compostable bags for your toilet so they won't dissolve on you. The pee separates out into a separate 2.6 gallon reservoir. For the uninitiated, that container will weigh approximately 20 pounds when it's full of your piss. That's a lot of pee to sneak into your local Starbucks. Speaking of, emptying this thing is kind of like a heist movie, but instead of trying to sneak past lasers to steal a precious gem, you're sneaking into your friend's bathroom Bathroom to pour out your heavy jug of pee. Mmm, these are nice. Jokes aside, this toilet has served me well thus far. I've only been using it for a couple weeks though, so I'll report back with more in the future. Having a toilet in the van has changed my life. No longer do I have to worry about simple things like, is it okay to drink some coffee? Is that Thai food safe to eat? Was there really that much mold? It doesn't matter. When I have to go, I go. That's it. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you know anybody who goes poop, be sure to share this with them. Hit that notification bell so you never miss one of my poopy videos. New videos every solar eclipse. Uh, bye now. You're, you more, you more, you the, you're turning two and a half weeks worth of mix. Just like me at the club.